The Simpson Hotel received grant money to install a rainwater harvesting system onto the building. After months of planning, the materials were purchased and installation of the 5200 gallon rainwater harvesting system got underway. The plan called for a drip irrigation system. We learned even with two large 2600 gallon tanks, in order to achieve proper PSI for the drip system, each tank would need to be elevated at least 42 inches for our particular system. Elevating 8 foot tanks that could weigh 16,000 pounds each when full took some planning. Bases of railroad ties and self-compacting gravel were created to support the tanks. Greenlee County 4-H members helped clear out weeds around the bases. Once the area was ready, the tanks were set into place. First, the rearmost tank, followed by the foremost. With the tanks in place, a PVC pipe was used to connect the two together. The harvested rainwater is to be used to irrigate a public garden next to the hotel. 4-H members and volunteers worked together to clear out the area in preparation for the garden's construction. Unfortunately, the rain began before all the fixtures could be installed and a connection to the tanks could be made. Work resumed days later. Fixtures were installed onto each tank. Volunteers dug a ditch to bury a pipe connecting the two tanks together. After the line was dug, the pipe was laid into place and the tanks were connected. Routing the water from the gutter to the tanks required some innovative thinking. The existing drain pipe was cut and used to direct the water into the tanks. Creative minds working collaboratively brought the project together. A cleverly worked piece of tubing directed the water away from the building. The recycled stretch of drain pipe was used to feed the water into the tanks. After everything was securely fastened, work began to install some of the drip irrigation components. Water collected in the tanks will be used to irrigate two garden sites. One area will be a vegetable garden and a larger area will be developed into a public community garden. The drip line was connected to the tanks and run across the garden area. There is still much work left to do on each of the gardens. We are all very anxious to see how this system performs.